Okay. This is May 2023. I have not competed in chess for three years. I felt like it was time to get back into it. I felt good about my game a month ago. Currently, I don't feel good about my game. I'm debating whether or not I should really play. But I'm still trying to get practice games in. And I came to the conclusion that depending on how well the practice game goes is a function of how well I'll think I'll do in the tournament. Take this game for instance. I just finished playing it about two hours ago. I was playing white. Kira Khan. It's all basic opening moves. Till now. I'm pressing his bishop. Bishop moves. I now have the bishop pair. He has a piece in the center of the board. I attack the piece. He moves it out. Develop my bishop, stop him from taking the check at a5. The king file is half open, I occupy with my queen, and his king is still in the center. I castle gave my king into safety, even though I'm lacking the c3 knight. Increase the safety of my king. He starts a pawn storm, but I don't believe his bishop, his pieces are very well placed to back up the pawn advance. Okay. I exchange the pawn in the center, and his queen and my rook are on the same file. I'm sorry, my pawn storm, but I believe my pieces are better placed to support the pawn storm if he should choose to castle to that side. If he castles to the other side, I mean, there's a lot of space on the queen side. If he remains in the center of the board, then at least his kingside rook will be out of play. But I think that's a good move for me. He, in fact, castles to the king's side, so I can continue with my pawn advance. I think he got a little nervous about my pawns coming, so he's going to try to exchange some pawns and lock up the position on his king's side before he continues his advance on the queen's side. <clears throat> now I see my opportunity to catch your extra pawn in the center. Extra two pawns, actually. <clears throat> so when you find a good move, you look for a better move, which is what I did. Now the threads at h7. I push up against his bishop, and his bishop doesn't have very many squares that I can go to. And the game is completed with a mating web. So right now I'm feeling really good about my playing possibilities, but my opponent in this game did not play very well. I should not be excited about competing based on this game. So the conclusion I have come to is that this tournament will be my last tournament for this year. This is the Chicago Open.
So the next time they play will probably be in the North American Open, which is, you know, just over six months away. And I will need to play during those six months or practice during those six months to uh, increase my skill level because the skill level is not what it should be right now. So if I play a bad game, I feel terrible about playing. If I don't even play a good game, if my opponent just plays weekly, then I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm a great player. No, I'm not. But we'll see over the next six months. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.